Hello everyone, and welcome back to Topless Cooking with Tim. And Derek. And Becca. And this is the House of Abs. And today we are going to be making acorn squash with a garlic tahini filling. Yeah. Um, so the first step is get your acorn squash and cut it. Now, there's a lot of different techniques on how to cut your squash. Um, Derek is going to use what most people recommend, which is a samurai, no, a serrated knife. <laughs> I'm just going to use a regular flat sharp knife, and we're going to attempt this, and Becca's just going to watch. Are we going long ways from, so, from stem to stern, or are we yep, going so, in bowl shaped? So you go, no, pick, you pick, pick a groove. Go along the groove, I like that. Yeah. You're going to pick a groove, it's and you're gonna just going to, and, and Derek's going to start sawing. I'm going to go from the top, and then once you get in there, you just, watch out. I don't know. I, really think I, I think I can just. This is really hard. What are you yeah. doing? Hutch out. Uh, this is my eye. Uh, um, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, See? Are we doing this wrong? Wait, who's so, got the guns? So, so. <laughs> She's got the guns. So I, I guess you just you can just hulk it in half as yeah. you're Becca. Yeah. And yeah. And yeah. So well, Derek and I are going to finish hacking these to bits and get them cut in half, and Becca will be eating by the time we finish cutting these. Basically. So, uh, okay, while you guys figure that out, once you get them halved, you're just gonna scoop out the center of all the seeds, and you can save them, put them in compost, put them in your garden, um, oh, or... Don't bleed. <laughs> you can just don't toss them bleed out. in your squash. Yeah, don't, no bleeding in the squash. I mean, you know, unless you like that kind of thing. What are you doing? You're gonna hurt yourself and the rest of everybody else. It's all good. You're gonna hurt your abs, bro. <laughs> Monkey breaking a coconut. <laughs> I got it. Good job, Tim. Man, you get to clean up the floor. I got some seeds out, too. <laughs> so, okay. so the next step is clean them out. And if you dropped it on the floor, wash them also. So it's just a simple spoon, scoop, boop, and that's it. <laughs> just like pumpkins, or I'm sure you've done this with other things before. If you have not, it's really not that hard. You just put the spoon in, kind of scoop around, get all the stringy, nasty stuff out of there, and you clean it out. That, it's like sherbet. It's like <laughs> sherbet, but not. not. I it's about the same color as orange sherbet. No, but I mean, as far as the scraping goes. Scraping. I I don't scrape sherbet. Sorry. Derek know. is new to this <laughs> concept. I'm not new to sherbet or cooking. Okay. I am new to abs, though. Yes, he is new to... Look, very impressive. That is body beast right there. And fixate. So now we're going to make the... Uh, we're going to make the little mixture that goes inside the... The garlic tahini dressing. That's it, right there. So, I won't give you quantities because these are mostly for me, and quantities of everything are just... Ridiculous. La larger numbers than most human beings eat. <laughs> um, but if you want the actual recipes, this is from the Ultimate Reset. So you... Tahini looks like, uh, looks a lot like pink Tahini is, tahini is a, um... No, where, where can you get tahini in the store? This is the... Or sesame tahini. It's in, I believe, the the, Asi the Asian ethnic section. The um, Asian section, as, as is the miso paste. Yes. So you just get a bowl, just put the stuff in a bowl. You want to scoop me out there? This is why we have friends. Here, you scoop, you control your team. Oh! Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're good, we're good, we got it, we're good. You saved it. We're good. What do you say? See what Derek doesn't know is I'm left handed, so this is backwards. <laughs> so you are seeing skill right here. Skills in the shape of abs. Did you see that teamwork? How was that, bro? Now, if you would like to have two hot topless guys come over and cook this for you, we can arrange for that. They rent out for parties. It's only, what, $39.95 an hour? 
We haven't discussed prices yet. Plus Eric's, tips. Eric's making that up. Um, I'm, I guess I'm just selling myself short here. Now you have to use the miso horny paste. It's miso horny paste. This is kind of thick stuff. This is also found in the Asian section. Okay, do you want me to squeeze that out for you? Yeah. Oh, here you go. I'll squeeze it for your time. Now, is it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it leveled or just lumped? I'd say that was two lumps. How many? That's four lumps. Um, Five? Six lumps. Six. Oh, you're going, you're going to town on the paste, bro. I don't know. How. And I'm putting in some garlic. And then, and then garlic. How many? How many? Um, cloves we put, or? All of them. So, uh, I, I didn't know much about, um, garlic, and I was under the impression that oh, one yeah. bulb was a clove. That's, that's <laughs> it's called a head. So, when recipes called for two cloves, I had two heads, or bulbs of garlic. That was a lot, and then, and then my my friends would wonder why I uh, <laughs> I smelled like garlic all the time, as if I was a vampire hunter. Uh. All right, there you go, garlic miso tahini. So it's just in a bowl, and all you do is just Watch whip it up. Watch the noodle. Oh, and we need to put a little bit of olive oil in it. That's the last. I can get that. What's a little? We need six teaspoons. This little guy. We use the California olive oil. Six in Korea. All right. So once this is all mixed, you're going to smear it all over that scooped out portion of your acorn squash. And can, can I wash it on his abs? You know, we were discussing that earlier, actually. Okay. Um, so yeah. So this is going to go on. All of the insides of the acorn squash and go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. All right, guys. Oh, go ahead. Sure, sure. Sorry. Oh no. You, you. So Derek started smearing this in here because I have no idea, and he did an excellent job of smearing paste. So we got a big bowl. It's bowl almost like the consistency of um, peanut butter. Yeah, it's peanut butter. So you just take a glob, drop it in the bucket, and mush it around. And get it on your wife. Lick it off at later, right? <laughs> and now it's been smeared. That's it. And just do that for all the ones that you have until all the stuff is gone and all your egg and squash is filled. All right. So. So it is now out. It's 30 minutes in the oven. It is complete. I think it looks delicious. Yeah. So I'm going to take one of these into the other room and cool. eat it. And, uh, mm. and that's it. So let me show you what it looks like. That is what your finished product will look like. And that is all. So I hope you enjoyed our episode today with our special guests. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>